So there are 90 students in each year and it's split into three with 30 people in each class. Well, I applied in 2019 and I got a qualifying score in the 11 plus, uh, so that allowed me to join CARES. Yes, I had to do I had to do lots of work to prepare for eleven plus, and that's why evenings were taken up with eleven plus preparation. But it was all worth it. I really enjoyed cares. So it'd probably be art. Um, so we would get our things all ready for the lesson, and then the teacher would put up the lesson outcome on the board, and then we'd have a little talk about it. And then we would answer some questions that she asks about the topic. And then we would all together do a piece of art about it. Well, there would be a task set for all the students. So then they would get on with that. And then the teacher would focus on that student for a while in class and just make sure that they know um, what they're struggling on. And then they can help them a bit. I've chosen most of them. I'm just uh, not sure about one of them. And I chose on the subjects that I felt I did good in, but also the ones I enjoyed. And you're encouraged to do that out of Do your teachers give you advice on how to choose? Uh, well, we can ask them if, we, if they think that we're suitable to do the subject for GCSE. Uh, but apart from that, they kind of let you, do, they, they let you do it on your own. But there are some restrictions, such as not art and DT, and not two modern languages. Well, we get tested at least twice a term in each subject, if not a bit more. And then we have an end of year test in each subject as well. What, what would happen if you did badly on one of those tests? Well, we would probably have a reset and we would probably get something in our report saying what, what we could do to improve and how we didn't do the best that we could have done in that test. Because of COVID, we're just limited to one area of the playground and we talk there at breaks and lunch because we're not really allowed to um, run around. So yeah, we just have a little chat with our friends. What could you do before COVID? Uh, well, we could pretty much have the whole of the school and everyone would be on the same break. So yeah, we, we could do, we could be a bit more, yeah, we could play ball games. So yeah, lots, lots more without COVID. Mm. Well, at the end of each term, the year sevens and eights get uh, distinction certificates. So there are three areas, uh, the area that you've improved the most that term for endeavor and for an academic achievement. So for each subject, there are three of those given at, at the end of each term and you can also get good grades on your report. Well, they would be um, treated with accordingly to what they did. Um, so there are different levels of detentions, like you can get a headmaster detention or an after-school detention, where you're punished a bit more than just a regular detention. I really like all the extracurricular. Uh, there are lot, there's lots to choose from. And you're really encouraged to do lots of extracurricular at CARES. What sort of things do you do then? What have you tried out so far? Well, I've done rugby for a bit, rugby club. I've also done hockey club for a bit. And I've done drama, music, chess, and a bit of art as well. My elder sister did go to the school, but she left 
two years ago. So we didn't go the same year. And my younger brother's also hoping to go to CARES um, in two years' time as well. Was it helpful to have an old sister there? Did she manage to tell you anything before you came? No, not really, because I don't think that there's anything too much different about CARES. It's like it isn't something shocking that you need to know. Yeah. So how old is your little brother? Uh, he's 10 years old now and he's preparing for the Evan Plus that so will be taken this September. Does he feel confident? Uh, I don't think he really does now. He's, uh, yeah, he's not that confident about taking the Evan Plus, but he's put the work in and he'll probably do good. There's about two to three pieces of homework set every night. Uh, but we're encouraged to only do 90 minutes maximum of homework. What if you couldn't do your homework in that time? What do you think the school would do? Uh, well, if we couldn't do homework, if, 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 if the majority of the class couldn't do it, then the teacher would probably um, not give out any punishments, but like set it to a later date if it was in too soon for the students to complete. But if it was only a few, then the teacher would probably give out detentions for incomplete work. Uh, so I wake up at about seven uh, o'clock and then I get ready and I leave in the car at about normally about quarter past eight, if not a bit earlier. And then I get to school and then lessons start at five to nine. And well, we registered at five to nine and then lessons start uh, after registration. And there are seven periods, each 45 minutes with uh, a break before lunch and then lunch in the middle of the day. And then I eat for lunch. I normally eat packed lunches um, because I'm very fussy uh, to eat. Uh, and yeah, and then I get home at about, well, school finishes at uh, half three now. So I get home at roughly quarter past four because we've got to pick up my brother from his school. And then I do my homework, I have a bit of a break and a snack, and then I do my homework at about five o'clock to about six o'clock. And then I have downtime and I go to sleep at eight.